Hi bears, I miss you guys so much and I missed your sweet laughs and smiles and I hope y'all are having fun with your families and uh, for now we're gonna read a book until class starts again. So this book is called Corduroy, it's about a teddy bear. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. So here's Corduroy right here, the bear. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. So there he is on the shelf with all the other toys. And then here he is with, all the, with the lady and he's lost one of his buttons. And his mom. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. So there's the mom and the daughter walking away from the bear and he looks sad. And then he's thinking about going to look for his button in the mall. Late that evening when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the door, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. So there he's moving up the escalator. He got a little scared. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor and there before his eyes was a most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. So he sees all the furniture and all those beds. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto a large, thick mattress. All at once he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried and he tried to pick it up, but like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. So see, he's crawling up the mattress and he thinks that those mattresses have his buttons on them. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop, off came the button and off the mattress corduroy toppled, bang into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. See, he fell off the bed, trying to get the button. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his, going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Now, who in the world did that? He exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Hello, he said, how did you get upstairs? See, he sees the little bear's ears. The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. So the policeman has taken him back to the shelf. 
Corduroy was just waking up when the, when the first customers came into the store in the morning. And there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he'd seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I'd saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. So the little girl came back for corduroy, even though he didn't have the button on his overall. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know, I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. So Lisa brought him home, that's the girl, Lisa, and she's putting the button back on, on his uh, overalls. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. The end. And there's the back of the book. I hope y'all enjoyed the book. Also, I went to the bookstore, boys, and I found a Star Wars book. I'm so excited. So it can be in the classroom. So whenever we get back in the classroom, y'all can read this book during circle time, whatever y'all want. Um, so I'm super excited for y'all, but I hope y'all are enjoying, uh, your times with your family. So love y'all.